Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. <laughs> I hope everyone had a great new year. Um, all the personal readings are completed. And if you are interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Okay. Um, I hope everyone had a safe and lovely new year and is enjoying the new year. And I wanted just to take some time off and kind of let the energy do its thing, right? So the last personal or public reading was December 30th, and it's the second. So let's see where we're at. What are the messages for the Divine Feminine? I know I was a distraction from your pain. I hide behind material things. I couldn't let you get close to me. I can't stop thinking about you. Okay. So more messages for the Divine Feminine here. Oh, and those people that I didn't like, remember the ones that had all the cats and was hoarding and always making my um, apartments look like really bad and they were just not good people. They moved out. Thank God. <laughs> uh, yes, they moved out. All right. Messages for the Divine Feminine. I know we have a soul connection. I don't really know you. Mm. I want to tell you so much. I pretend you don't mean that much. Okay. So let's get the messages for the Divine Masculine. What are the messages for the Divine Masculine? Messages for the Divine Masculine. Messages for the Divine Masculine. We both know I am not the one for you. The timing just wasn't right. I want to be more than friends. I hid who I really am. Oh, wow. So the masculine knows that she's hiding. Messages for the Divine Masculine. Messages for the Divine Masculine. And remember, this can be he or she. The energies. I've been struggling. Leaving you hurt me too. Ooh, this card flipped out. I fantasize about you. I fear that you will reject me. Oh. This is... These are new. Some of these cards I've never seen. So this is why I like to let the energy settle. So there you go. <laughs> oh, sorry. I am getting better. I'm still a little sick, but I am getting better. All right, messages for the Divine Feminine. Messages for the Divine Feminine. Messages for the Divine Feminine here. Separation. Perseverance. Deception. White flag. So someone wants another chance to make, to do things right, okay? Someone is not being honest or withholding information. Obstacles are blessed opportunities of growth. Both partners have the desire and will to overcome this and separation. Surrender into your heart source. So whenever you see this, this means like stop being logical. Stop trying to overthink something because that's what you're doing. You need to tune into your heart chakra. You could possibly need to open your heart chakra. Okay. Why is the deception here? Why is deception here? Unresolved wounds, karmic patterns, and inheritances are affecting this situation. So someone is dealing with karmic patterns and wounds that the other person may not even know about because this is information that is being withheld. Any clarity around the soul imprints? Wow. You've had many past lives together. This could be something that you have dealt with in a past life. The same karmic patterns you dealt with this person in your past life. Okay. Are y'all going to get it together in this lifetime? Is this person going to get it together? <laughs> 
Messages for the Divine Masculine. Lord, are we going to get it together in this lifetime? Messages for the Divine Masculine. Fragile heart. You can be vulnerable and trust in this connection. Repression. Someone does not express how they truly feel. So we got the same card. Forgiveness is a liberating choice. This is a divine connection. So why is repression here? Someone does not express how they truly feel. Renew an adventure. This is clarifying repression. So someone does not express how they truly feel. This is, you need to play. Renew an adventure. Travel, laughter, do things together to spark your love life again. <laughs> Get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. I told you. Twin Flames wants to come out too. <sighs> I feel like this person is doubting. They're telling me that this person is doubting that they're twins. Why? Let's ask this deck. Why? Why is this masculine doubting that they're twins? I feel like this happens a lot in the, with the divine masculine. Why is this doubt? Why is this doubt here for the divine masculine? Why? Deception. Someone is not being honest or is withholding information. So this person does not feel, this person is doubting again the twin flame connection because someone is not being honest or withholding information. Any clarity around that, around what's happening? Reconciliation. So someone may want to reconcile, but the return of a past soulmate. <sighs> It could be because a reconciliation. Let's ask. Why is why is this person not believing in the connection? Because of a reconciliation. Clarify the reconciliation. Clarify reconciliation. Because this seems to be a block. This came in reverse. So Ten of Cups in reverse. The reconciliation has not happened. They feel like this person is a karmic and this has put a burden on the relationship. Why do they feel like this person is a karmic? They feel like this person is a karmic partner instead of a twin. Oof, justice, Libra energy, justice. It could be because this person got divorced or this person isn't divorced. Clarify the justice card. person is waiting on someone to tell them yeah I told you this person feels like this person is a karmic because this person the other person is waiting on this person to come in and say hey I got a divorce and I don't think they have yet so for whatever reason this person now now the divine masculine is viewing this person as a karmic because maybe they ooh. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. See, messages come out so weird with me. Different little ways. All right. So what's going on? <laughs> what's happening? What's happening in Divine Feminine's life? <laughs> Past energy for Divine Feminine. Yeah, someone here is... What's happening in Divine... Past energy for Divine Feminine. Loss and disappointment. Present energy for Divine Feminine. Present energy for Divine Feminine. Headache, stress. Five of Swords. Future energy for Divine Feminine. Future energy for Divine Feminine. Future energy for Divine Feminine. Future. Conflict. Oof. This is... <clears throat> what is the past energy, the loss and disappointment for the Divine Feminine? Death. Yeah. Something ended. Something ended. What ended in the past energy? A marriage. A marriage ended. If For the ones of you that are not married, this is just a long-term commitment. Okay? Could be spiritual commitment for some. Um, this talks about, this is energy. Okay? So they want me to clarify this. Some of you could be ending, have ended something that is a spiritual connection, a soul contract, a soul marriage, right? It never happened on earth, but it's, it was 
you know, your soul, it was a soul contract that ended, right? That's for some of you. For others of you, it was an actual marriage. But they want me to keep reminding you guys of that because I feel like some of you have spiritual connections, spiritual relationships that are changing, you know, and I don't think a lot of you are aware of it. So that's for some of you here, okay? Use discernment and know who are who you are, right? Obviously, if you're not going through an actual divorce in real life, then you know that that's probably you if you can resonate, okay? If you resonate with the reading. So what is the current energy of Five of Swords being stressed out for Divine Feminine? Clarify this energy. Why is this here, the Five of Swords? Why is that here? So this is a positive. Um, you're starting a new life, but you're heartbroken. This is the stress. Um, you're working on emotional things that you're realizing about yourself that you may have been resisting seeing or dealing with before. Okay. But I feel like you're tackling the issues now. You're like head on. You're like, oh, I'm doing this, right? I'm healing this. I'm focusing on this. So that's good energy to be in. What is the future energy? The five of wands. You're resisting conflict in the future. You're resisting conflict in the future. You're going towards something that you want, page of wands, even though this is going to cause an upset. So what is the Divine Feminine going towards? What is Divine Feminine going towards? This is, you're going towards ending a karmic cycle. You're moving past the dark, the negative times and moving to better times. But ending this karmic cycle is going to be very hard. Okay. Could be a karmic relationship for some Yeah, you're working on being happy, abundant, um, financially stable for some of you, okay? Some of you are, so some of you are really being single. You're walking away from this Queen of Pentacles energy. Yeah. Oh. All right. So let's see what Divine Masculine is doing. What is Divine Masculine's past energy? Divine Masculine's past energy. Ten of Pentacles. Divine Masculine's current energy. Hangman. Divine Masculine's future energy. Lovers. Okay. Past energy is... Ten of Pentacles is a family unit. For some, it is a marriage. For others, it is being abundant financially, okay? So clarify the Ten of Pentacles. You guys know I clarify everyone because <laughs> we need to, you know, we need some clarity on this. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? So what was the past energy with the Ten of Pentacles? Okay. Like I said, it was abundance or a marriage. Th this is the two storylines that I'm getting. Past energy is a lot of money. The other story is somebody was married. Okay. Those are the two storylines I'm getting. Could be the same person or it could be two storylines. Okay. Someone in the past energy was really focusing on work, was really making a lot of money, uh, was really, you know, focusing on their marriage, married energy here. Okay. What is the current energy of the hangman? Clarify the hangman and the current energy. This is current energy. Working on, I feel like you're focused on work again. What are you working on here? Divine Masculine. Healing. Wow. Healing. You're thinking a lot about things and you're healing things. Working on yourself this time. 
clarify the star. What are they healing? So we're going to take this. Healing from a connection. Two of Cups. It could have been a marriage. Divine masculine energy. Again, this could have been a spiritual marriage. Well, for others of you, you're healing from a marriage <coughs> that you made a decision about. You were confused for a long time on what to do. Okay. I feel like you made the decision in this current energy on what to do. What wasn't? What was the decision? I feel like you are healing and you're choosing Divine Feminine. Wow. You're choosing the Divine Feminine. I feel like you were confused for a long time about who to choose, but now you are very certain of who you want. So why were they confused before? Strength. This was a lesson of strength. This was about being strong, about making a decision, taking passionate action towards something. There was a lot of stress and anxiety. It could be because of a money situation or it could be because of a child. Page of Pentacles. Hangman energy also is a very spiritual card. I feel like this person is leaning more into their spirituality, whereas before they're coming from a place of very logical, grounded energy. They're not ground. I mean, they're grounded now, but they're leaning more into their spirituality. So future energy is the lovers making a choice. Well, yeah, because I feel like that choice has been made current energy. Why is the lovers here? Wow, oh, this is crazy. Yeah, they were, they were juggling two people. They were juggling two people. They made a decision. Clarify the two of pentacles. This is future energy. Yeah, I told you they walked away from someone. So what is the future outcome of this? Divorce. Wow. Definitely a divorce. What are they manifesting? Well, they're manifesting divine feminine, so... Yeah, I chose the third party. This could be something that someone that they met online, this is someone that they love very much and that they see a future with this person. Wow. This person definitely has gone through a transformation. Could have been an air sign here. I feel like they were for a long time stuck in an energy of being emotionally detached, emotionally unavailable, resisting this person, stuck. So what changed? What brought this on? What changed? 11-11. Four of Wands. What changed is wanting a balanced connection with their feminine. What's hidden here is that they wanted victory. They wanted victory over their divine feminine here. They wanted to be happy and move forward. So if you notice that there was the two of swords, being this divine masculine not with his feminine or not having the feminine around made him feel stuck in his life. He couldn't move forward. He was disappointed. He was sad. Wow. This person could be an earth sign. Or an air sign for some of you. And a Leo for some. <laughs> There's a lot of people here, so. All right. 
So what is the, what are the messages? What is the past energy for both twins? What is the past energy for both twins here? Past energy is Ace of Cups. Past energy for both the twins is Ace of Cups. Current energy for both twins. Fool. Wow. Future energy for both the twins. Two of Wands, Four of Cups, Temperance, Patience for the future. When thinking about the future, when making plans, having to have patience and balancing your energies, your feminine, your masculine, is going to make you guys kind of feel doubtful of the future and be like, "That's this is never going to happen, but it is. That's future energy, full energy, but you're in a place, you're in a good energy now. And you're like, you know, <clears throat> I'm moving on. I'm starting new, right? And we're in a new year. So a lot of you are in that energy, whereas you're like, new year, new me. We're doing things differently this year, right? So that's good. That's a really good energy to be in. So they want me to clarify with this deck, so I'm going to do that. So why is the Ace of Cups here for the past energy? Why is the Ace of Cups for both twins for the past energy? Control. Someone was trying to control their feelings, right? <laughs> trying to control their emotion. And I don't think they controlled their emotion very well. <laughs> Right? Trying to control each other, really. Why is the fool here for current energy? Someone was really suffering from the past. Both of them was suffering from the past. They kept thinking about the third party. Um, this was the comfort zone. So they were both, I feel like both, because this is for both twins, right? I feel like both twins were comfortable sitting in this third party energy. This felt comfortable to for them um but they let that go they're like nope we're not doing that anymore that is an old cycle we're just not gonna do that anymore i'm gonna get over it i'm gonna forgive the other one um we're moving forward okay so what is this future energy with the two of wands four of cups and temperance what is this future energy here for both twins both twins are creating self-love setting new intentions Yep, taking care of their self, future energy, really good energy to be in, feminine, getting in touch with their feminine energy here, bringing more, yeah, okay, growing out of this shadow energy, I feel like both of the twins were very cold and detached, um, this was their shadow side, this was their negative personality traits, being very cold and detached, I feel like they're coming out of that because they're having spiritual growth. They're healing, healing, <laughs> they're healing and they're really being, they're creating self-love. So they're being compassionate and loving to their self as well as to each other. Okay. So what is the outcome here of this connection? Fate, detour, this is faded. They want you to know that rebirth happened. And the winner, memories, apology, forgiveness, ending old debts. This to me feels old. Taking action to end old debts, old co commitments, forgiving each other, taking action, not being limited by fear anymore, listening to your spirit guides, getting to making a decision, right? Getting through this rejection and making a decision here. What's the decision? I feel like the decision where you had confusion before, I don't feel like there's going to be confusion anymore. You're coming out of this. Yep, told you. You're making an offer because you finally got the courage to change. Told you. One of you is taking action while the other one is going to be open to receiving. What's funny is that she has the courage to change and so does he. So both of you, you, he's taking action, she's changing. 
and open to receiving. This is like, you guys are doing the same thing. Why is deception temptation here? Self-worth. So some, you need to listen to your intuition for sure. Because some of you can get down on yourself and feel like maybe this person doesn't want me. They're not going to want me. I'm not good enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not hot enough. I'm not, I don't make enough money. Something about your self-worth is deceiving you. Some of you, your self-worth gets, deceives you and gets into the way of you being open. You have to listen to your intuition and release this trigger because it is deception. It's ego. Okay. Family, home, and commitment is where you guys are headed. All right. So... What does the, they don't want me to use this one anymore. What does the, um, what block does the feminine need to deal with? What block? What block does the feminine need to deal with? What block does the feminine need to deal with? and focus on healing right now. What block does the feminine need to deal with at this time? Something about your listening to your intuition or making an offer to a commitment is a burden. I don't think you trust this person. I feel like this person didn't offer much in the past, so you have no faith that they're going to offer you anything in the future. And for some reason, intuitive, your intuition feels like something about following your spiritual side to this feels like a burden. Why? Why is it a burden to listen to your intuition at this time? I feel like because there's someone else around or you're going, you could be talking to someone else or going towards someone else romantically. So trying to work this out feels like a burden. You're like, mm, I don't know if I want this anymore. That's for some of you. Yeah, some of you keep oscillating between the other one, like the new person and the old person. What is the, um, what is the block for the divine masculine? What is the block for the divine masculine that the divine masculine needs to heal and let go of? What is the block for the divine masculine that the masculine needs to work through? Money. And also, I feel like this is an equal give and take. So money could be an issue and an equal give and take. Your emotional, I feel like you're emotionally immature. And I feel like you haven't given, you're trying to give up, you're trying to give page of cups. There needs to be a balance. You're trying to only give a, pay, a little bit when you need to give more. Um, why is the page of cups here? Yeah, this has already been told to you. This was already spoken to you and told that you're not giving enough, that you, this isn't enough. What you can offer isn't enough at this time. Why? Why? Whoa. Because you're guarded emotionally. So you're emotionally guarding yourself. Because of hurt energy. You're still hurt over this person. This person walked away from you and you haven't gotten over this. You haven't forgiven this person yet. Why is the tower here? This took a lot of strength. This really... I'm getting, I'm getting for some, this really effed you up. 
this took a lot of strength and it's like it's hard for you to move past that energy but that's the block that's the block mm. all right i will see you guys in the morning